Hi Cancer, this is going to be a general love reading for the month of October for your Sun, Moon, Rising and or Venus signs. <laughs> and it's funny, as soon as I start the reading, that's when Sylvia decides to come and get on the desk. Alright, let me just move her over, see if we can have some space, please, Sylvia. Here. Alright, stay here. Alright, so, let's see what is going on with Cancer. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for October. So I feel like you guys have been getting some pretty heavy readings with me lately, so I'm hoping that things are lightening up for you. <clears throat> so let's see. What is going on with Cancer? Keep in mind, these readings are general, so they're not going to resonate for all of you. So you can watch one of your other signs. <clears throat> and also the roles can be reversed regardless of whether you're watching for yourself or cross-watching for somebody else. Alright, so we have Guide and we have Inner Child. Alright, so I feel like this connection in some way is being guided um, by the Divine. You are being guided, your person is possibly being guided. Um, it doesn't necessarily mean that you'll be together, although that could be the case. But either way, you're being guided through this because I do feel like, um, at least for the group of cancer that I've been tapping into lately, you've been going through a really, really hard time. And I feel like what's happening here is it's childhood wounds that are coming up to the surface through this difficult time that you have been going through. And you are guided through this in order for that to heal, all right? And this happens through the relationship that you are dealing with currently. All right, so let's get into the details and see what is going on in October for you. So we are gonna be looking at your energy, your person's energy, as well as what is coming up in the near future. So let's see. shuffle. Alright, so for you we have the star. Okay, that's a very good start actually. Strength and the Ace of Wands. Alright, finally, I feel like you are really beginning to feel like you are healing. Um, you're being strong, you're being determined, you're feeling powerful, and you're feeling like you are able to finally have a new beginning, all right, whether it is with this person or just in general in your life. Let's see what's going on with your person. We have the Page of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups, and the Knight of Cups. Okay, so your person, I feel, is kind of following along in your footsteps. However, they do seem to be maybe a little bit confused, like they're a little more confused than you are. However, I do see them wanting to come in. Um, so if you've been in separation, it does look like they want to come in and give you an offer or it could even be somebody new actually So let's see what's coming up in the near future. We have the two of pentacles The queen of swords <clears throat> and the nine of swords and I'm mostly getting that this is your person here actually so we are going to clarify and see what all of this is about um, but for the most part what I'm getting here is that you are healing from this connection. Your person, mm, maybe not so much. I feel like there might be something new coming in for some of you and then for others of you, it could be your person being a little bit confused as to how to come towards you. So then it's really up to you what you decide to do about that. Um, and even in the near future, I'm seeing that your person might be a little bit back and forth between having some clarity over the situation, really not knowing what to do about it, and then ultimately feeling really stressed um, because they don't know what to do. So, yeah, let's see. So let's clarify the star for you. Ooh, judgment. The Five of Cups, let me get one more, and the Four of Cups. Okay, so... 
So you're healing, just as I said, because you have done so much work on yourself, whether you realize it or not. There has been a lot of self-reflection, a lot of awakening, a lot of moving forward, really understanding yourself. I feel like you may have been overly critical of yourself in the past, and now you are beginning to understand that, um, that you have to be a little bit more accepting of yourself, a little bit more loving to your own self. All right. Um, it's kind of like I feel like you you are learning the lesson right now that you are really in control here as to how happy you are. That's I don't know if you can hear that. That's Oliver. He wants to go outside on the side of the house that he's not allowed to go outside on. Um, so yeah, you you may have felt some. I, I feel like you were very unhappy lately and I've said that because also just judging from the previous readings and your readings really stood out in my memory um, because it just felt like they were so heavy and I feel like it's showing up here with this five of cups and the four of cups um, feeling a little bit like you were the victim or feeling like there's no way out just seeing the your whole life in a very pessimistic way whereas now you're having some revelations about that, okay, in some way, which is helping you to heal and it's helping you to find your strength, your power, and your self-love. So let's see, your strength. Yeah, we have the Seven of Wands, the Ace of Swords, and the Three of Swords. So you... You are able to put your foot down, you are able to set your boundaries and realize what it is that you are worth, like what is your truth, right? So even though you have been through a lot of pain, you have been hurt to a very great extent, you are now able to heal that as well as set your own boundaries. And this is all based on the truth of who you truly are. It's based on the truth of what your sense of self-worth, your what your self-worth really is. All right, which is helping you to be in this in this energy of strength. I feel like this is a time of um, great spiritual growth for Cancer. Let's see the Ace of Wands. Five of Pentacles, the Fool, and the Hermit. Huh. This is you, wow. This is you really being able to be okay, even alone. All right. Uh, both the Five of Pentacles and the Hermit are a little bit of lonely type of cards. Um, you've had you've had a loss, right? You've had a loss but you are so ready at the moment to really embark on this new journey even if that means you being you being alone all right regardless of whether you have this person in your life or not you are finally beginning to understand that you can be okay even on your own and i feel like that is what is opening up the door either for this person to come back in or for a new love offer to come in okay it's going to be one or the other and i feel like it's actually happening right now you may not be aware of it just yet but this is what is happening in october all right you you're just it's it's like you are taking this leap forward ready for a new beginning so let's see let's see this person let's clarify the page of pentacles the three of pentacles the two of wands and the eight of cups So for some of you, it could be that this person was dealing with a third party, um, somebody who, yeah, so it could be somebody who was indecisive or kind of stuck at a crossroads when it came to a third party 
And what I'm seeing here with the Eight of Cups is that this person is possibly leaving this behind. Actually walking away from that third party situation or um, relationship, okay, whatever, whatever it is. It's like they're emotionally detaching, ready to take a step away. I feel like it's still a baby step though with the Page of Pentacles, but it feels like they're actually beginning to take some practical steps in that direction. All right, now again, it could be that then this person comes, that it's the same person who is coming in um, to give you an offer. But again, it could be somebody else. Because I do see this person, this page, being a little bit confused here. Let's see. Seven of Cups. Yeah. So we have the Ace of Wands, we have the Knight of Swords, and we have the Two of Swords. So it feels like this person, yeah, they might be leaving behind whatever, whatever that third party was, whether it was um, an addiction, another relationship, something related to work, a family member, it doesn't matter. I feel like... It, they're detaching from that and then they're taking some action here with the Ace of Wands and the Knight of Swords coming towards you. But then it's like with the Two of Swords, it's, it's again, it's like a little bit of a hesitation here, especially when it's clarifying the Seven of Cups. So I feel like, yeah, this person is taking that first baby step, but they're still not 100% there yet. Um, still some indecision here. And this is why I feel like this Knight of Cups might be somebody else. So let's clarify, let's clarify this Knight of Cups. The Wheel of Fortune. The Hanged Man. And the Tower. Hmm. Whoever this Knight of Cups is, once they come in, okay, again, two different scenarios here. If it is the same person that's leaving something behind, um, it's like they're making a change, but I feel like it's happening very slowly. And the reason why they're going to have this back and forth type of an energy to them, a little bit of indecisiveness, is because as they are making this change in their lives they're going to be undergoing this tower, all right? They're going to be going through such a difficult time that it's going to feel like a lot of back and forth before they can actually balance out. And I feel like it's taking actually quite some time because then we also have the Nine of Swords here in the near future, all right? So it's really up to you how you want to handle this. If it's another person, and again, I feel like for a lot of you, there's going to be someone else coming in, this is going to cause a shift, all right, in the energy of your life in general. Um, and I feel like it's going to cause a tower for the other person. All right, for this person who is indecisive. And it's, I mean, obviously this isn't the ideal way for a you know union to happen between two people, but you know, sometimes th this is just how certain things work. And it doesn't necessarily mean you're going to have union <clears throat> with the first person if this second person comes through, right? It's going to be your choice. But what I am seeing, and this is just, you know, how it is, is that if this happens or when this happens, the first person is going to really be shaken up, all right? Um, they're really not going to know what to do here. And it's going to cause them to have, to, it's going to like force them to make a shift in their lives because it just feels like they're just not going to want to lose you, all right? So yeah, that's, that's what's going on there. All right, so let's see. Two of Pentacles. Queen of Cups, the Nine of Wands, and the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, so this is definitely your person here. Um, 
the same person who's back and forth, the same person who's a little bit indecisive here, they're going to be trying to really get a grasp on what is going on and trying to take control over their lives. Um, and it's going to be kind of like they're going to want to follow their hearts, which is telling them to move towards you because they have feelings for you. All right, they want you here with this, this Queen of Cups is you. And it's like they want you, but at the same time, they're feeling like it's such a challenge to actually provide this, um, this commitment. I do feel that they're going to put in that effort though. All right. Um, it's going to be difficult, but they're going to put in that effort to gain your trust and to, and to try to have this long-term commitment with you in some way. Let's see the Queen of Swords. Page of Swords, Temperance, and the King of Pentacles. So, yeah, whatever it is that happens up here with this new person, or even if there is no new person, they're, again, it's like they're putting in that effort. They're going to have this newfound clarity on what it means to be balanced and on wanting to be that king of pentacles for you wanting to offer you that commitment so i do see them really coming in it's just that they're coming in in a way that's going to be very stressed i feel like they're still going to be um, in this tower either because they're leaving another connection or because you're going to be entering a new connection all right so either way your person is going to be very stressed because of one of those two things. Or maybe because of both. Let's see the Nine of Swords. Oh, okay. We have the Ten of Cups, the Page of Wands, and Death. Yeah, this is... Wow, okay, this is a big time tower um, coming up for your person here. Because you're moving on regardless, all right? Regardless of whether someone new comes in or not, you're moving on. Your person's going to freak out. Um, either they can pick up on it energetically or they will find out about it in some way. And it's just going to cause them a lot of stress. A lot of stress and anxiety because they do want this Ten of Cups with you, all right? Um... They want to have a new beginning with you, but they're going to feel like it's not possible. They're going to see it as, as it being done or as, you know, something having changed and they don't know if they can go back to how things used to be or if there's, um, if you were never together, they're just not going to know if, if they can even have a chance with you. Wow. It feels like it's, it's a big twist of events here um, from previous readings. So let's just get a couple of um, cards to close out the reading, just a final message for you, if this was resonating. And if it was, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, share, leave a comment. Let's see, final messages for Cancer. Sun, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Four of Pentacles. Whatever the case, whatever the case here, you have a lot of positivity coming into your life, all right, um, in October and afterwards, okay, with the Sun and the Ten of Pentacles. There's definitely some kind of a commitment that you are going to be in that's going to be very, very happy. It's going to be very positive. And I feel like it's going to be something that, you know, you're going to want to hold on to. This is going to be something that you want for the long term, okay? And I feel like that's going to be mutual between the both of you, whoever this person is. It's either going to be this new person, possibly, or somebody coming back from the past, okay? It's going to be different for everybody. But Whatever the case, you have the sun here, and that is just going to be an amazing connection. 
All right, so yeah, that was it. I'm not pulling a, um, a final oracle card this time around. I'm just gonna stick to the final message that we get from the tarot. But do let me know if you guys liked when I was doing that, when I was pulling an oracle card at the end, and I will put it back in. So, sending you guys all my love. Bye.